We have her back, Brenda Hopper, who is CEO and State Director of New Jersey Small Business Development Center. Good to see you, Brenda. Good to see you. Um, let's talk about a subject we haven't had a chance to talk about, the Affordable Care Act, its impact on small business. First, let's define small business. Small business, 500 or less. But most small businesses are 1 to 20 employees. So the law says 50 employees or more. What happens? You have to provide health care insurance. So 50 full-time equivalent below, you do not have to provide health care 50 more insurance. you do? Yes. So from your expert perspective, you deal with all kinds of small businesses. Since the Affordable Care Act was put into place, when? Five years ago. No, it's not five years. Yes. Is that right? Wow. Yes, yes the law, five Overall, years ago. Talk about the impact. And then and now, by the way, it's evolved. Yes. Uh, the positive is uh, that many small businesses were really afraid of this act. Uh, it's going to cost, their expenses are going to go up. And it has not done that. I mean, there have been reports where it really has not made that much of an impact because most small businesses do not have to provide this insurance. However, if you do, there is a possible tax credit benefit. So it could be to the benefit of the small business to provide this insurance. They keep better employees. They provide a service to their clients. So, I mean, their employees, so it, it works. And are there more options today yes. than there were a few years ago? Five years ago, you had to go on the exchange. And the exchange had all kinds of problems, limited plans. Today, any plan that the employer provides, the, they can provide that to the small business uh, client as well. So um, there are better plans. More uh, options. More better options, options. Better options. Uh, premiums are competitive. So uh, most people think that I should get a plan with a lower premium. What do you that, say? That's not always the case because you have to consider the out-of-pocket costs as well. So it's good. You have to understand and know this uh, Affordable Care Act. Brenda, you, you and your colleagues, do you actually do you sit down with small businesses and go through this with them? That's a positive, yes. How, we, how do you break it down for them? Well, we, uh, we hire expert consultants <clears throat> to work with our clients. And it's at no cost to the client. So when the small business comes in and they really don't understand Affordable uh, Care Act, we can educate them. And it's no cost to them. So we welcome them to come to see us at the SBDC. So improvements to the Affordable Care Act as it relates to small business, what would they be? What would they look like? Well, the improvements, again, are the options. No, what, what, moving forward, do you think there could and should be? Or is this it? I think this is it. You think this is it? I think this is so it. So for those who say, you know, we're going to change Obamacare, that's, it's going to be, it's going to be, got, you don't. I hope not. I mean, the positive long term is that more people have health care insurance. More people are not denied because they have pre-existing uh, conditions. So just personally, I think it's a good thing. From a business point of view, I mean, we have a small business. We're a not-for-profit business, right? Mm -hmm. We run this production company. And every time we sat down, we sat down with a, a potentially a new employee, mm -hmm. we sit down and talk about the overall compensation package, but it also involves yes. the health insurance situation. Now, mm -hmm. that is a part of recruiting, and it's also potentially a part of retention of employees, is it not? Absolutely. Talk about it. Well, if you can provide this benefit to your employees, then um, they're more likely to stay. Also, as a small business owner, you do not have to go on the exchange. You can provide individual plans and just pay, help pay the premium. How does that work? Explain that. Well, instead of me getting group health insurance, okay. I can provide individual health insurance and just help the employee pay that premium. Then, again, it's a, an expense to the company, and also I could possibly qualify for tax credit. It's so interesting. People, some people, make these sweeping statements about the Affordable Care Act and how it's this terrible thing, and, and it's not our job. And, I, you know, for those of you who watch us on public broadcast, we don't express a point of view. Um, 
as hosts. But it's fascinating mm -hmm. to me that people will cross the board will say we've got to get rid of it mm -hmm. as if there are not all these pieces to it that have had clearly positive, positive yeah. effects. Uh, even that doesn't mean nothing's perfect. But the fact is something had to be done as it relates to health care, but particularly as it relates to small business. Small business couldn't continue with the status quo pre-2011, right? Exactly. Why? Well, I think one of the, the, the issues for small businesses is they don't understand this very complicated Affordable Care Act. Uh, I mean, even today, there are, even to the employee, if you don't understand what a premium is or a deductible, I mean, it can be so confusing. Mm. And I remember when we were introduced to it, and I'm supposed to know these things, I was like, what the heck is this Affordable Care Act? I don't understand it. So the education of it right. is important. And I think that, moving forward, if we educate, we can... Um, Before I chat here, Mental Half 2016 Beyond, the outlook for small business in New Jersey is... Hopefully positive. <laughs> uh, you Come know, on. no, no. Two oh eight. We we did the, right. the crash and the depression and all that good stuff. But now we're moving ahead. Uh, more businesses are getting loans. Uh, they are hiring people. So uh, we we're, we're looking forward to uh, a positive outlook for small business. And for those who run small businesses, having that positive outlook is critical to their success because oh, because uh, as they grow. They uh, increase their revenues. They uh, can diversify products. They can hire additional people. I mean, it's a good thing to be, you know, successful. And tell everybody again, uh, your organization, it's where is it the, based? It's the New Jersey Small Business Development Center, 12 locations throughout the state, state headquarters at Rutgers Business School in Newark and New Brunswick. Brenda, I want to thank you for joining us. You've joined us many times, and each time you join us, we learn something new. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right. Stay with us. We're we'll right back right after this. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Holy Name Medical Center, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, MD Advantage, and by NJ Best. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.